It's back to school time for my kids, so this week I'm going to be sharing our first week of school lunches. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and like I mentioned, this is our first week of school and I'm going to bring you guys along with our lunches. So if you are new, I have three younger kids that I will be hands-on homeschooling for this school year 2020, 2021. My son Bryce is nine, he is in fourth grade and then I have twins, Rose and Pearl, who are seven, almost eight, and they are in second grade. So those are the lunches that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. We are doing homeschool. We opted to do that for this year. So I'm going to be sharing a lot of trays, but these foods are also going to be super easy to pack. I do have one lunch that I actually packed up because even though we are going to be homeschooling for this year, there are several excursions, field trips, things that we are going to be doing outside the home. And for some of those, we will need to pack our own lunch and take those. So I'm going to share that as well. And I'll probably share a few more over the next school year. So if you guys are interested in that, you're definitely going to want to hit that subscribe button, stick around, join our community. Now I do have a one more child page. She is 16 and she does a completely online curriculum, but she likes to make her own food. She's at that age where I don't need to make her lunch anymore. <laughs> Sometimes she'll, she will eat what I'm eating depending on what I'm making, but for the most part, she is very hands-on with her own food in the kitchen. So I'm just going to be focusing on the younger three with you guys today. So let's go ahead and get this week started and start off with Monday's lunch. Okay, Monday, first day of school for the kids, and this is what they are having for lunch. So Kira actually ordered these from Amazon, these trays, and it came in, I think it was 12, and she was like, I don't need 12, so I went ahead and got half of them from her. So these are really cool. The kids have already seen them. They said they look just like the cafeteria trays that they got in public school. So I thought that would just be fun. So today they're having grilled cheese that I made in the Dash appliances. All of my kids love ketchup with their grilled cheese. So we've got that going on for them to dip. Then I put some pretzels and apples with some peanut butter. They can choose to dip in the peanut butter or not. For a little sweet treat, I have two little Hershey Kisses here and then some cut up cucumber. So this is their lunch for their first official day of homeschool and Monday. Day two lunches for the kids, nice and easy. Today they actually had a really messy and sort of filling snack earlier this morning. So I went a little lighter on the lunch. So we've got some chicken nuggets. These are the cats, chocolatey cats cookies for people. We picked up from Trader Joe's. So I've got about eight there, some carrot chips, and then this is Fiesta Ranch. And then I've got about four strawberries. Now if they want any more strawberries or carrots, they can have more of those. Now Pearl and Bryce do love ketchup and mayonnaise mixed together. So I put a little squirt of each and they can just use their chicken nuggets to mix that up. But that's what the three younger kiddos are having for lunch this Tuesday. Okay, it is Wednesday morning, and even though we are homeschooled, um, last year I was on the hunt for a really good container to keep my kids' food either hot or cold until they were able to have it for lunch at their school. So Blue Ellie sent me some items. So we are going to try out their food jar today because I know a lot of you guys still send your kids off to school. Even though we have opted to homeschool this year, there are gonna be days, mainly Fridays, every other Friday where we are out of the house. And some of those days, depending on what we were doing, I will be packing our lunches. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try and see if everything is still nice and warm enough for lunchtime for the kids to eat. So you can see here, we've got some good old Velveeta mac and cheese or shells and cheese. This is one of my kids' favorites. Like I said, it is the morning time, so we've got about four to five hours until lunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this and get it in this jar. I do want to thank Blue Ellie for sponsoring this portion of the video. Let me go ahead and tell you guys a little bit about this jar. So it does come with a spoon that I just kind of 
tucked in to this little spot right here. There's one on each side. These are BPA free. It is super easy to open and it is a ceramic coating. So that's gonna prevent the food from staining it and it's also gonna prevent any smells from sticking to these surfaces. So I'm really excited about that. This is vacuum insulated, so it's gonna stay warm for up to 12 hours, but chilled for 24 hours, which I think is amazing. So it is now lunchtime. I already unpacked everything so I could show you guys what they are having for lunch. I made the mac and cheese and this is still very, very warm. Not as hot, obviously, as if you were to just make it, but definitely cooled off enough, which is nice for the kids to eat. So I know they're definitely gonna like that. I got a juice box for them and then they're going to have a trail mix which is, this one is peanuts, raisins, M&Ms, almonds, and cashews. And then Blue Ellie sent me a few other items. I really like this. I think it's really cool because it comes with this little band to really hold it if you are traveling, sending your kids to school, or even if you homeschool and you just like prepping lunch ahead of time and having it ready, this is really cool. It just holds it all together, so I liked that. So I just put some tomatoes and grapes in here and then a Danimal smoothie, and these are the cutest little ice packs. So I put that in here as well because I didn't put this in the fridge or anything like that. I made it, threw it together this morning, and then I just left them sitting on the counter until now it is lunchtime. So this is still cold. It's not frozen anymore, but it's still cold. So it kept their, yeah, the grapes and tomatoes are still nice and cold and their yogurt smoothie is nice and cold as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack this back up so she can open it, but we've got that going on. So that's what they're having for lunch today. And then they also sent over, so this little container came with a spoon and fork. I didn't need that for today. And it also came with a little condiment container Container, which I think is super nice to have and these reusable snack bags so I could have put the grapes and things like that into these or chips so I really like that two different sizes there this is the perfect size for a sandwich and this is more like your snack size and they also have bigger ice packs as well so I wanted to showcase just a few other things that this company has just in case you wanted more of a variety for your lunch packing I also like to add little riddles into the kids' lunch boxes, so I pulled some out for each of my kids for today. So that is what they are having for lunch on Wednesday for their first week of back to school, and I will have everything you guys need to know, links, all that good stuff down in the description box so you guys can check them out for your back to school needs. All right, lunchtime. This is actually the last official day of school. We only have a four day school week, but I am gonna share tomorrow's lunch as well. So this, today we are having fish sticks. And then I kind of just pulled things because towards the end of the week, we start running out of things. So they've got fish sticks, the yogurt raisins. I gave them to Hershey Kisses as a sweet treat. We've got some cucumber and then for their fruit, we went ahead and made a smoothie, and I've shared this before on the channel, but this time we used pink lemonade. So this is a copycat Dole Whip, but with a lemonade flair. So it's pink lemonade, pineapple, and coconut milk, and that's easy. Just a quick, easy three-ingredient smoothie. 
So this is what they are having for lunch today. Okay, happy Friday. We made it to the end of the week and typically once a week, I like to throw together just some kind of snacking tray, um, especially on days where we're just going with the flow. <laughs> so uh, and at the end of the week is the perfect time for that because I can just throw together some things that we need to eat up before I get ready to go to the store and meal plan for the next week. So this is what I put together for them today. We've got a mixture of veggies back here, kind of the last of everything we have. So this is the last of the cucumber, the last of our tomatoes, and then we still have some carrots, but for some reason this week they automatically like dried out. So I'm not sure. I'm gonna let, let them sit here and see if the kids eat them or not. This is the last of the grapes, and then we still have a half of a watermelon <laughs> left over, but I went ahead and gave them some watermelon because they love it. As far as cheese, so I did kind of like a homemade Lunchable, so they've got some Ritz crackers, the last of our salami that we had, and then I did cheese. So my daughter Pearl loves pepper jack, so this one is for her, and then I put a regular cheddar cheese in here also, and then the other two have two of the cheddar cheeses. So we've got that going on, and then for their sweet treat, we've got the um, chocolate cookies, or cat chocolate cats cookies for people from Trader Joe's. And then this is the last three of this watermelon taffy that we had. So I put that on top. So this is how my kids are ending their a lunch week. Okay, so we made it through the first week. There was some trials and errors, but next week is a new week. I'm excited to get it started, excited to make some changes and really find out what's gonna work best for us. So if you guys are starting your homeschool journey, stick with it. Don't get frustrated. I had a couple days where I was like, I don't know if I can do this, but I know I can. It's just finding that balance that's gonna work for the kids, for me, being able to still share with you guys and keep care of the house. The house is very, very dirty after this first week. I have a lot of cleaning to do this weekend. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Blue L down below. I'll have a link for you guys and a little discount code. But I hope you guys have a great next week, whether you have already started school or not. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.